Hello, everybody. You are welcome to another week of uh, the word of this you know, with Pastor Sunday. Uh, this week, I want to talk about the fact that success is actually available. Success is attainable and available to everybody. It is such a painful um, realization that so many people around the world uh, are devoid of success, uh, are void of success just because they don't know the principles <laughs> of success that bring success to people and that bring success to the lives of uh, anybody that wishes to have them. Success are so near to us, it's unbelievable and uh, it's so painful to see people all around us that are you know, wrangling in pain, that are wrangling in, in, uh, in deception and uh, in lack just because they don't know some of the basic principles. I remember myself when I was growing up in Africa, I thought that you know you have to be lucky to be successful. Uh, and so, so many people still believe that today. So at, at other times, I was thinking that you know success is about destiny, <laughs> and that I was not I mean, maybe I was not destined to be successful. I was hoping to be successful, but I thought maybe you know uh, it's a matter of you know God doing or God's choice. And I thought some people were selected by God to be successful, and others are not. Well, how much I missed, I made a mistake. That was a big mistake. And now I've realized that success is possible because success depends on principles and success depends on the truth that you know. So this week I'll be talking about some of the truths that will make success possible and available for you and to you, wherever you are and wherever you might be living in the world. God bless you. Hello, everybody. We are continuing this week's uh, world and that is the, uh, the fact that success is available and attainable to everybody. It is such a painful realization to see how many people suffer in this world because they are not aware of the fact that success is attainable and available to them. And, uh, and success is not a mystery. Success is not mystic to, it's, 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 uh, to some extent. Success is not something that is uh, abstract or that is only you no know, possible by you no know, by some unknown uh, facts or factors. But success is available to everybody that is hungry for it. And um, you know there are principles that are responsible for success. And one of the principles that are really responsible for success that I want to deal with today is information. If you know, have information, if you, know the, if you have the right information about success or if you know the factors of success, and, uh, it's, it's easy for you to attain success, to be successful and to become everything that you wish to become in life. You just need to get the right information. That is why knowledge is regarded as power. Knowledge is power for those people who know the uh, the importance and the and the the significance of knowledge they will never their lives never remain the same they were never the same wherever they are no matter where you are either in the darkest village in africa if you can lay your hand on knowledge if you could go for information information has the ability to exalt you information and knowledge has the ability to raise you out of darkness and put you into the light and on top of your world information makes a whole difference when information comes to you it just disperses darkness and it brings you into the top of your world so one of the first factors to, to, to success or of success and that makes success available to you is to make yourself informed inform yourself go for knowledge be you know be hungry for knowledge be thirsty for be thirsty for knowledge you know be on the adventure for knowledge if you go for knowledge if you look for knowledge yeah we will see that you will never remain where life has put you you will always move forward and you will be closer to success and success will become such a reality to you than you could ever imagine god bless you now Hello everybody, today uh, we are continuing the, to talk about the factors of success and the fact that success is available and attainable to everybody. It is not difficult to be successful and one of the factors of success that many people neglect and that they, you, don't, you don't often hear about is preparation. Preparation is a key and a major key to, prep, to, to success in life. You could become great in life, you could become successful in life only be adequately prepared many people do things shabbily many people do things on the surface many people just do things to get by it and you just you know to just mark 
to get a mark that they have done it. People go to school and just, you know, give exams as if they are doing it for the teacher. People go to school and, uh, you know, just play around in the schools. People go you know, to universities and don't give their best. They are not adequately prepared and they are still dreaming and yet they are dreaming of being successful in life. Well, success is not possible to just anybody. Success comes to people who fulfill conditions of success. Success comes to people who do and abide themselves by the laws of success. Yesterday we spoke about the law of information and the power of knowledge and the role it plays in, 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 in success. But today we're talking about uh, the importance of preparation. You need to get yourself prepared. You need to be the best you could be in everything you do. You need to make sure that you don't just jump into doing something, uh, but you make sure that you first of all prepare yourself. You make sure you have an adequate preparation before you start to you know, you embark on any journey or any activity or anything whatsoever you do. That's the principle that the sports people use, sportsmen who win the Olympics. They use spend you know, maybe two, three, four years preparing some spend up to five, ten years preparing themselves rigorously before they go and compete in their in their in, in whatever sports they are competing in. So preparation there is not preparation is a womb to success. Preparation is a womb of success. So let's get prepared adequately before we engage in anything. That is another major factor to success and success will be available and attainable to us. God bless. Hello everybody. Well, and you were talking about the fact that success is possible and so to everybody and success is available to everybody. And we are talking about steps and the factors that are responsible for success. So I want to give you some, I've given you already some factors. If you have to build on these factors, you have to put the bricks on one, on the layer. You have to lay one layer, which was information and knowledge. The second layer, which is preparation. The next thing that will really help you to become successful is action. You've got to be proactive. You've got to be pro to be proactive and become a person of action. If you really want to attain success, if you really want to be successful and move forward in anything you do in your whole life, you've got to make sure that you are a person of action, that you are proactive. You don't wait to, for people to tell you what to do. You don't wait to get a command from anybody. But you stand and go and do what you need to do. You be proactive. You initiate changes. You initiate a move. You know, be ready to go out and do as much work as possible. Be a person of action. You know, uh, the, the Bible tells us that the hand of the lazy brings to poverty, but the hand of the diligent brings wealth and riches. Be diligent in everything you do. Be a person of diligence. Be somebody that will do, you know, if you need to work for eight hours, work for ten hours. If you need to do ten works, do twenty works. Just make sure that you act and you do better than any other person around. You know, when I was in the university, when I came from Africa to study in Europe, I knew for me to get anywhere, I must become the best student in the university. I must beat all the students from every other country because I'm a black person. And if I really want to make a difference in this world, if I really want to, you know, make a lasting impact, if I want my Jesus to be proud of me, and if I don't want to be ashamed, I mean, for him to be ashamed of me or for the world to be ashamed of him, I must make, I must make sure that I study extra class, extra extra time, and, and, and that's the key to become the best in your field. So be proactive and be a person of action and success will be available and, uh, and ready for you. God bless. Hello everybody, welcome to another day that we are, you know, talking to you this morning and today about the fact that, you know, uh, success is possible. Success is a possibility. Many people are looking for the keys to success and they are looking for the secret of success. And um, I never knew there were secrets to success. I never knew there were you no know, factors of success. And, uh, you know, growing up uh, in Africa, I was so ignorant of these things. I never knew there were books about it and uh, that you could actually learn to be successful. I lived in ignorance thinking that it's just about luck. But thank God it is not luck. Thank God, uh, you know, success is predictable. Thank God that uh, 
you know, God opens our eyes and He gives us principles that let us know that God, you know, that success is a possibility. And today I want to encourage every one of you to consider another point that is vital for success. And this is environment. You have got to surround yourself with the right people for you to be so truly successful. If anybody, you, if, for example, if you want to become a politician, make sure that you surround yourself, you go and find an environment, a suitable environment, where you can learn from the politicians and where the politicians will help you to advance in your calling and in your, in your destiny. If you want to become a businessman, surround yourself, find yourself to, to get yourself to where business people are. And environment is a major key to success. It's one of the, actually, the most important factors of success. It's more important than, uh, than, 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 then preparation is more important than knowledge is very important you cannot underestimate the role of environment in success so you need to find people who are already in the place where you wish to be you need to even if you don't have people around that are like that in your surrounding or in your in your environment you know if you need to be a politician and there are no politicians around you go and uh, read books of politicians surround yourself with the books or tapes of great politicians learn from them that is environment create the environment for yourself if you don't have millionaires around you and you want to become a millionaire regret the books and uh, literature of the millionaires around the world learn from them and uh, create the environment of uh, success and uh, surround yourself with the environment of, uh, of a millionaire and you discover that it is possible so this is a major factor to being successful so success is uh, is available and attainable god bless you talk to you more about it tomorrow. hello everybody we continue uh, the message that we started about the fact that uh, success is available and attainable to everybody and the, today the factor of success that i want to talk about is that you if you really want to be successful you must be diligent enough to go through the process many people just want to wake up one morning and just wake up being successful or wake up being big wake up being great and just have everything at once no that is deception you cannot have everything just at once you must be you know, willing and ready to painstink, painstakingly go through the process of production. You must not be one of those ones that want to have something for nothing. You must not be one of those people that want to have something where you don't pay the price for it. You must be willing to pay the price for anything that you desire to have in life. Don't just have a goal but be willing to walk and go through the process of, 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 uh, of pain, of endurance, of sacrifice, of, uh, of labor, of work. Just make sure you follow the order. Make sure you follow the rules. Make sure you follow due process so that you will be able to get to where you want to go. Because that is the only thing that can assure you or give you a lasting success. So you must be a person of process. You must be thorough. You must be diligent. You must learn to pay attention to details and to minute insignificant things. So you must pay attention to the details and the process of creation, the process of production, the process from getting to A, from A to B must be thorough. You must make sure that you follow the rules. You must make sure that you don't omit any single or any small point in your quest to go and get to where you wish to find yourself. So be a thorough, diligent person. Diligence and being thorough to follow through the process is a major factor to, 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 to becoming uh, successful in life. God bless you. Hello everybody, today is the last day of the week that I want to talk to you about the fact that success is available and attainable to everybody. But one of the things, one of the factors of success is, uh, is not very pleasant, but it's an important one for us to follow and to note. Is that what the successful people are people who do what they don't like to do in the sense that they might not want to do things but they force themselves to do it because it is they do what is needed to be done they do just what is necessary you know uh, successful people are people who know that 
I don't, it doesn't matter how I feel about this. It doesn't matter if I like it or not. It doesn't matter if, I'm, if, 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 if I feel like doing it or not. They don't go by feelings. They don't go by what they like. They do what needs to be done. For example, successful people will wake up in the morning, like 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, not because they feel like waking up in the morning, but they know it must be done. They know this is necessary, and they do it. And they, 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 people who do what they don't like to do, but they do it anyway, because if they do it, they know it they will get an, a, a result eventually. The successful people are people who work eight hours, ten hours, twenty hours, as much as possible. If it needs, if the job needs to be done, they get it done. They don't want to say, oh, well, I don't feel like doing this, I'm, uh, I'm tired. Or they don't give excuses. These are people that do what they don't want to do. But you see, failures and, 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 uh, and uh, people who fail in life, they are people who do what they want to do, who don't, who don't do what they don't want to do. For example, failures uh, sleep as long as they want to sleep. If they don't want to feel like waking up, they don't wake up. Failures don't feel like disciplining themselves. If they feel like eating, they eat at any time they want. If they feel like, uh, you know, they don't want to fast, they don't fast. If they feel like, uh, you know, you know, resting, they rest. If they feel like don't work, not working, they don't work. They just do live to their pleasure. They live to their satisfaction. But uh, the successful people are the, the, the direct opposite. They do what they don't feel like doing. They, 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 they do what is painful to them. Be, be, but because they pay the price of pain, you know, of discipline through pain, they, 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 they avoid the, 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 the anguish of regret in life. So they become successful in life. But the people who don't want to pay the price of willing, you know, you know discipline, they end up paying the price of anguish all through life. So success is available and it's attainable to you. Only apply yourself to it and follow these principles. It shall be well with you. God bless.